hello friends welcome to coding simplified again and today we will see that how to rotate a link list so first we will see that how to rotate link list uh, by clockwise in this tutorial so by rotating clockwise means let's say you have this link list earlier we had the five node now at the first you want to rotate by one node so we are rotating clockwise clockwise means like this one this side like from to left to right so when you are rotating this side then first 18 will come at this position and 12 will come at this position so it will be something like this like 18 so 18 will come to this position first which is here and 12 will rotate to this position right so like this we can do now suppose if it says like rotate by two nodes it means you will rotate first 18 here then you will rotate by 8 here right so then it will be something like this that first you ro rotated this one and then you rotated 8 so again this 8 will come at this position then it will shift by one position so if you rotate by one it will be something this this series if you rotate by two then it will be this series then again if you rotate by three then 37 will come at this position and it will shift right so like this way it can happen so this is like shifting this is rotating by clockwise so what should be our logic our logic should be like like k so rot rotate by k we will give us as rotate by k so let's say if i say rotate by one position so this is this is my one position it means this 18 will come at the first position and the previous node of 18 then it will point to the null and at last we will point this next to the head right so this will be our logic again let's say if if you want to rotate by two position so we will traverse till this position the previous node then after traversing to this position we will uh, we, we will put the next of this one to null then we will pick this one and we will put the next of this one to the head right so you can see here the 18 is pointing to earlier it was pointing to null now it will point to the head and this 37 will point to the null so this will be our logic first we will traverse to till the previous point and then we'll put the next of this one to null and then we'll then we'll again traverse till k position and then we'll put the next of this one to the head so by this way we can solve our problem okay so let's see how we can do this so this will be uh, something like this that this is our link list we have ins inserted 12 99 37 8 and 18 so we have five element and now we are rotating by clockwise so uh, this is seven so you know like it can be it can be any value you can rotate by seven also so let's say if your if your k value is greater than your element size it means then you are rotating again right so every time you rotate it by the same number so like let's say if you are rotating by zero it means there is no change same way if you have five element and if you are rotating by a five then again it will be no change because it will again come to the same link list so let's say if you are rotating by seven it means the sixth position will equivalent to the this one as you are rotating by one and if you are rotating by two and you are sorry if you are rotating by seven it means you are rotating by two actually right so we will also handle this case so what we will do uh, we will first get the size of the link list and then we will take the reminder we will take the reminder by the size by the k value right so that you can get the actual so it means if you are rotating by seven it means you are rotating by 7 and remainder the size it means you are uh, rotating by 7 remainder 5 which is 2 so actually you are rotating by 2 right so now let's do it so first we are will check by 1 so we will rotate by clockwise and this is 1 
so this is my function i have write the function this is rotate clockwise so at the first i will check that if node equals to equals to null it means there is nothing to do we won't do anything if node is null and same if k is less than 0 it means rotate by negative so we are not considering the negative values for now we are taking only the positive values like rotating only by the positive values so in both the cases i will return node which is the same value now i will check the size of linked list like what is the size so in my previous tutorials i have also done this the get size of list so you can also see this so get size of list a program is very easy uh, just pass the node and recursively check that if node equals to equals to null and then return zero else you can return the get size of list node of next plus one right so in this case it will it will give me the size of the list okay let's go to the our function so now you have got the size of linked list now you will do the rotate by seven and remainder size of linked lists so this is the same thing which i was talking before some time that we will we will get the actual rotation okay so if k is 7 and size of linked list is 5 it means actually you are rotating by 2 right now after getting if you are uh, now check that if k equals to, equal to 0 it means there is no need to rotate right so let's say if you have five element and if you want to rotate by zero or by five or by ten it means there is no need to rotate we can simply return the node right so now we will start our program so what we will do we will take a temporary node and we will store the head value of the node so as i told you before that if i am rotating by one so my aim is to reach till previous value so my size is five so I will reach till this value by doing size of linked list minus k. Okay, so which is effectively 4. So that is why I am doing here like traverse till size of linked list minus k. So when so while i is less than size of linked list minus k, temp equal to temp next. Right. So we will traverse till that position and i plus plus. So in this case I, I am reaching here so i have reached there after that what you do you get the value of temp next right and then you also get the value of head because we know that this this value will be the head right so we'll do temp dot next equals to null so which i was talking earlier like this temp dot next equal to null and after that i will traverse till temp dot next is not equals to null it means this is a value which i need to point to the node which is the head value so i will traverse till this value and in the next case temp dot next will node right so this is how i will solve my problem and at the last i will return the head right so let's say if if i'm doing for the return by two so sorry rotate by two so in this case i will traverse till this here till this node and after that i will uh, i will put temp dot next equal to null and then i will traverse till this position where this uh, where the next of this is null and then i will put this uh, the next of this one to the head which is 12 so it will calculate this condition so let's see if i do this rotate by clockwise by 2 okay and let's put a debug point here so when you put debug point here let's go to the function so it will check yes node is not null now it will calculate the size so if you run this it will calculate the size so size of linked list is 5 okay now it will check effectively so k is 2 right so k is not 0 so now we'll start so again it will traverse till temp equals to temp dot next i plus plus then again right so now we have got temp is okay let me run this so now temp is eight right so like in this case our temp is eight so we have reached till this position 
now do it again so this was our temp because this was our temp dot next and now this is our head so we know that our head will be 8 right so this is our head because we know that this is our head now again we will do temp dot next equal to null so if you see this is 37 so 37 of so now 37 of next is null okay and now again we will traverse till temp dot next is not null and now we'll do temp dot next equal to node so this will point to the 818 so now 18 will point to the 12 and now we'll return the head so if you print the list so you can see if you print the list it will give me this one so which is this was the earlier link list 12 99 37 8 and 18 and now it is printing 8 18 12 99 37 because we have rotated by 2 okay anti clock so this was a rotation first rotation and then now this was a second rotation so this is how we have rotated the link list by clockwise and you can choose any value so let's say if i give 7 right and okay terminate this and run the program so when you run the program then this will give me the same value now again if you give me the same 5 so we have 5 element and if you run by the 5 then there will be no changes and you can also give this 15 so 15 again the multiple of 5 so there will be no change right so this is how we can solve the problem by rotating clockwise so thanks friends for watching the video and in next tutorial We'll see the rotation of link list by anti clockwise and more such videos. So, thanks and please subscribe the channel for more such videos.